Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a full face or almost a full face of Revolution Beauty. And that is because I bought way too much makeup and I had enough for the first full face and today is the second full face. And the reason why I don't have a foundation from this brand and a few other products, it's because when I did the first video, I gave them away and forgotten that I had extra makeup to do a second face of Revolution Beauty. And to be honest, I give them away because I didn't like them that much. And I don't like to keep makeup. I'm going in with a Pixie Rose Glow Mist, which I love because it has like a little bit of, um, well, it has antioxidants, but it also has a little bit of oil. So it keeps my skin really moist and I just like it. I think Pixie has some good products. I should do a Pixie face. Um, Anyway, so there is a lot of controversy with Revolution Beauty. I have these two primers, and I'm gonna go in with a super duo, and I'll use this for a random face. I'm like, um, like jo joining some products that are random from different brands that, like, when I do a full face, I have extra that I don't need. So I'm gonna, I'm like gathering them all to do a, a random, like a full face of random stuff. So we're gonna go in with a super dewy skin elixir because I have this super dewy blurring balm. I'm really hoping that today the results are better than what I got the first time because I was very disappointed with the results the first, the second time. I'm not gonna moisturize my skin. I was gonna use my favorite Ulla Hendrickson cream, which as you can see, it's empty and I already have two in stock because sometimes they're sold out and it's my favorite moisturizer. Um, no, I'm not gonna add any because I really wanna see the power of this super dewy drops and see if they actually do make your face dewy. But see, it's one of those that is like not grabbing the product. So it's also issues with packaging, but no, never mind. It is grabbing the product. Not as much as I wanted, but see like now that I go in again, it's not grabbing the product. There we go. I mean, it's just little tweaks that, you know, like that happen sometimes when you buy uh, cheaper or more affordable brands, they don't uh, pay that much attention to the packaging. Maybe they do to the way that it looks, but not that the way that it performs, you know? So maybe I should just put my hair up in a bun. So yeah, there's a lot of controversy and I just watched the videos today. Uh, I saw James Walsh, Walsh saying why he was never buying Revolution Beauty again. And I don't even remember why he said it. Um, and I saw Cassandra Bankson saying like how they ended up duping a lot of brands, like higher end brands. And that obviously that's not okay to do to like dupe other brands. But she said it was a way for people to, who don't have the means to buy expensive makeup to get to try something very similar, which I agree with that. I think that's not a bad thing, but I don't think you should actually like, you don't need to dupe the product as long as the product has good, good quality. It doesn't have to be similar to another brand. But anyways, I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Blur fine line filler with vitamin E. Um, and this is supposed to be an under eye filler, which I mean, I don't believe a lot of these things, but it's new. I'm gonna rub my finger like roughly so that I can grab some product. Oh, it's, oh wow, 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 wow. It's super smooth. This feels like you're applying like the thinnest Vaseline, like this feels really good. And honestly, to be honest, I can say that this probably does work with the fine lines under your eyes because it has such a smoothing, uh, like such smoothing properties that I'm even gonna add it like on my little wrinkles right here. Um, I'm surprised by this, to be honest. Well, it might not work well under makeup, like who knows, but just like up from applying it right now, oh, I got it kind of dirty with, I don't know why, but anyways. Um, just from applying it right now, I can honestly tell you that I would wear this on a no makeup makeup day. And um, so we added the, the drops 
And now we're going in with a blurring balm. And it's a blurring balm that can be used as a mattifying base before makeup application or as a touch up on top of makeup. So I'm gonna add it before. Um, it has a little puff, but I'm just gonna go in like this and apply it just on the T-zones. And look, it, wow, it is blurring, you guys. What's going on? I had like the worst expectations for this uh, video because none of the products that I that I reviewed last time I liked. I think maybe I liked one or two products that I kept, like I don't remember exactly, but I was kind of disappointed with the brand because I was like, how are they so popular and their products are so crappy? But this is, this literally did blur a lot of my pores, like, well, I'm not, it doesn't, nothing will make your pores disappear, but you can feel and you can tell when it's blurring and it's not too silicone, which is something that I like because sometimes this kind of products are way too silicone. And as always, you guys, I apologize for drinking so much water and stuff while I'm filming. And that is because I'm sorry I have to repeat it, but they say when you lose someone, my dermatologist told me, sorry, I have like makeup under my fingernails. My dermatologist told me that it's normal for you to be extra thirsty, which makes no sense to me. Like, I don't understand how, like, I don't want you guys to see my dirty undernails. And it's makeup because I just did my cousin's makeup today. Um, she came in like in the morning and I did her makeup for um, for not a party, but like a reunion. And I ended up with makeup under my, I have a little brush for my nails and I didn't brush them. So yeah, that's that's the thing. And anyway, she told me that you get extra thirsty and I have no idea how that makes sense, but I have been extra, extra thirsty. And I think I'm gonna apply a little bit of this blurring balm to my eyelids. I don't think that's a bad idea. This is going on my eyelids. Why is this turn, what is this thing? There we go. And I'm putting it on my eyelids just because I wanna see if this will make the application of the, of the shadows work better. I don't even remember which um, palette I used the first time. I probably gave it away. So anyways, this is the foundation that I'm gonna be using because I bought this after years of not trying it. It used to be my favorite BB cream and it was so like, it brought me back to like such good memories and I was like, I wanna try it again and see if I still like this. So I'm gonna try it today. And I have these little drops. I give the darker ones to someone, I don't remember who. I've given away like 30% of the stuff that I have like, I just love giving away stuff to people and um, I'm trying to figure out on how to do a giveaway. If you guys know how to do a giveaway um, to one of my subscribers or three of my subscribers to make like a little box full of goodies and send it to three people. Um, but I don't know how you choose who wins or how it works. Um, maybe you guys can leave it in the comments. These drops are when, when like, the foundation is too dark and now i need to get the ones for when the foundation is too light oh this actually this is gonna be necessary because this is way too dark see oh this is perfect so now you can see how the drops work because this is definitely way too dark for me which shade is this this is 120 medium shade tint i'm usually light medium so i guess there was no light medium and I just went with medium. So now that I'm applying these drops, let's see how much they actually change the color of the formula. Yeah, I think, I think it works. And I think I'm gonna like this. And as long as the drops don't change the formula, I'm good with it. And for some reason, I don't think this Revolution Beauty drops change the formula because this feels just like that formula that I used to apply when I was younger. Um, 
yeah it doesn't and I, it's not like the consistency changed it didn't get thicker it just stayed exactly the same but just with a different color you know oh my god don't tell me i forgot my goddamn mirror oh it's right here whoa oopsie do sorry guys oh thank god i wasn't wearing a skirt i would have flashed all of you guys um anyways let's see how this product performs after so many years. I know I'm gonna need concealer because this is such a lightweight uh, product that it's not gonna give me like, this is a BB cream, not a foundation. So it's barely gonna give me any coverage, but I used to love wearing this just because I would wear this to like school and stuff and it just gives you like that healthy, see? Like it gives you like that healthy look without looking all cakey and I just feel like I already look better with this on. Uh, I, I hate not having my brows done, you guys. I think I'm gonna do my brow, no, I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna go like this to my brows. I hate seeing my brows like wrong because I feel like they don't allow me to like look at the way my face is gonna look. So I have the Sculpt and Glow, which I've tried and I actually like it and um, because the other bronzer, which one, which was one like this, I gave it away. And I don't know why I gave it away. Like, I don't just give away stuff that I don't like. Sometimes people are like, oh, I need a bronzer. Sorry, so my things fell. Sometimes people are like, oh, I need a bronzer. And I'm like, oh, I have extra. I'll give it to you. You know, it's, it's not always stuff that I don't like. It's I, actually, I don't give stuff away that I don't like. I give stuff away that I think the person will like. So, I was gonna go with the bronzer, but no, we're forgetting. This is the Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. Let's see, sometimes you have to turn this thing like a thousand times. It's coming out, almost. And I'm not the biggest fan of these puffy things, but sometimes they're good for this kind of products. So let's see. I'm gonna apply a little bit under my eyes to see if it brightens my dark circles. And I'm just applying them here, a little dot here, a little dot here. And since it's brightening, I guess I'm gonna apply a little bit over here. I'm kind of using it as a concealer, but I'm also using a concealer. So let's blend this baby up and see. All I care about mostly when it comes to um, when it comes to foundation and all that is that it looks like your skin, you know, like that it's almost that look that it, that you're like, is she just wearing like a tinted moisturizer or is she wearing like a full face of makeup or what's going on, but she looks great and it doesn't look like she did a lot. <sighs> My ponytail is bothering me. Sorry, you guys, it's just like pulling on the wrong places. <sighs> These are the kind of things that professional YouTubers crop so that you don't have to see them be doing this and you definitely don't see them wearing their hair up like this. But I am not a professional YouTuber. I am just a skincare and makeup lover that is doing her best to bring you guys whatever I can to the table. Now we're going in with the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C7. I don't know if it's gonna be too light. It's a little light, but I don't mind because this way, there's this new way of like applying concealer. Well, it's not new, but like, cause I've been applying concealer just on this, on the dots and like this forever. But there's this new way of applying it like this instead of like this, you know? So I'm applying it like this. It, apparently it like lifts, lifts, lifts of your face. Why, why can't I talk? A little bit here, cause that's where I have like a little bit of hyperpigmentation, a little dot here, that's it. That was with like the leftover product. So it was barely getting, oh no, I'm forgetting my nose and my, oh, this is very important. Forgetting this area. There we go. Is that it? Yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie do. Okay. Let's see. I really, I really, really 
I'm having a much better experience this time with this makeup to the point that I'm considering keeping it. And like the last time I was like, I was upset that the makeup was so bad that I was like, okay, I am not keeping this makeup. And I called the girls who work at my house and I was like, you guys can grab whatever you want. If you don't want it, you can donate it. And like they said, I gave them, that's why I gave them the darker ones because they have a darker complexion than I do. So I gave them the darker drops so that they could uh, mix it with the foundation and um, and that way they could use it. And they said it was a good foundation. So I guess what happens is that once you start trying so, so many products as I have, like, you know, I've been buying makeup for so many years and I have like just everything that comes out, I want it. And like just trying so much makeup, you become so much pickier, you know, so they didn't think it was bad. So right now my complexion, I think, is looking great. Like in person, it's looking really really good like i like all the products that i'm wearing right now to be honest i was not expecting this sorry now onto blush i think i'm gonna apply this cream blush first which i already dug my fingers into and then i'm gonna apply a little bit of powder on top or maybe i won't need the powder who knows let's see I don't know if these are highlighters or I'm gonna swatch them for you guys because some of them look like highlighters, some of them look like like other things, but like let's see. This, 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 this. Okay, that was a mess. But let me see. So yeah, it's like a mix of highlighters, but all the blushes are a little shimmery so i'm gonna grab between these two Pasen. Pasa, Fati, gracias. between these two i'm gonna go in with a darker one which i don't know i think it was yeah i know which one it is so i'm gonna go in with a darker one oh i should have applied my bronzer first what am i doing sorry guys Let's go in with the bronzer first. I don't have the best brushes today because um, I'm washing my other brushes and they're not dry. So like some of the brushes uh, that I needed, I don't have them with me right now, but this is actually a good one. Like I've tried this before and as you can see, it's had some use because it's so easy to just carry it in your purse. Gracias, Fati. Yeah. It's so easy to just carry it in your purse and you have your highlighter and your bronzer. But I'm not using this highlighter today. I think I'm gonna use this. I have this and this. Ah, I want this to fall. These two. But I really wanna try the Unicorn Glow. So I'm not gonna be using this highlighter. It will go to the haul of the random makeup that I will be trying at some point. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I am still gonna have a little bit of leftover makeup from Revolution, but only this little palette because I have these two eyeshadow palettes and between these two, I chose this one. I haven't seen what this one looks like inside, but I chose this one because uh, I was just in the mood to try the bigger palette today so that I could probably give you more options. So the bronzer, as you can see, it's definitely not a contouring bronzer. Well, when it's either a bronzer or a contour. It's not the kind of bronzer that you can contour with, but it's like the perfect shade that in between, you know? So you don't need to like really contour your face. You can just bronze with this and it will work as, as a bronzer and as a just i feel like i look snatched like i don't feel like i need to um add more like a deeper not a deeper but a more taupey shade i feel like this works perfectly fine so this is what the highlighter looks like i'll just show you guys it's beautiful it's actually it's, look how blinding it is it's wow wow i didn't remember it being so blinding now now i kind of want to use this 
but we're gonna use the unicorn drops now you can you can see what the highlighter looks like it's really 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 beautiful it's so thin it's gorgeous i'm worried about this unicorn drops but let's add let's add the blush first This was one of the lightest shades is this one because I feel like these two are way too dark for the kind of makeup that I like to do. This is more of a peachy, rosy tone and uh, I'm not into, sometimes I'm into berries, but if I'm into berries, I'm doing like pretty much a whole face of berries, you know? like. I don't like adding like a blue eye and then a berry cheek and then like a new lip because then it just looks like you just look clownish, you know? So I do wanna uh, I do wanna add a little bit of bronzer to my nose, but I don't know how to add it because this is not gonna work as a contour in my opinion, but I'm still gonna try it. I'm gonna try to like contour or just like bronze the nose a little bit. Yeah, just bronze the nose a little bit. There we go. Oh, and of course I have to add bronzer to my eyelids because I always do that. I was forgetting. Just look at the difference that the bronzer makes on one eye and the other eye. It just makes, it's like magic. Like I could just go with bronzer and bronzer and uh, lash, I mean, Mascara and that's it and like feel great. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of this crazy color One of these ones Mixed with this one. So I don't know where this is going, but let's see I'm smiling you guys. I always tell you not to smile, but I'm smiling because I already know Where to place the product so that it won't droop when I stop smiling. So I like to do the W, like whoop, whoop. That's like what they call it now. Cause I remember people used to only bronze this area, but I've always gone like really high up with the, like for some reason, and don't, call me cocky, whatever you want. A lot of things that I already used to do are being done now as trends, like darkening this up, you know this area like not too much like i just saw patrick ta do that on a model and i was like i've been doing that for ages like even if i showed you guys pictures you will see that the lower part of my eye is always darker and i don't mean like super dark i mean like a very light, light dark that makes your eye look bigger so i guess we're done with the blush and i am gonna add a little bit of a powder blush I don't want to use these highlighters because I really want to try the unicorn drops. So I'm going to use the powder and then the unicorn drops. Let's see how the powder looks. I like the little swirlies on it. And this one is Violet Love. This palette uh, is called Indulge. So if you're looking for a creamy palette with blushes and highlighters, that would be a good one. So this Indulge blush, in my opinion, is not too pigmented, which is good, because I don't need something too, pig too pigmented. I just want like an extra little bit of rosiness. All right. Okay, I think it's looking cute think it's looking cute I'm not sure a little bit under my eyes because when you tan you don't have a white shade right here I don't understand why people apply such a white shade right here if you naturally tan your face this area will be tan as well tan or pink or whatever color you choose to use like it will all also be like pinky you know I feel like I'm missing blush just because I like blush so much. 
that I'm gonna add a little bit more. Don't kill me guys, but it's just like, I just love a very blushy look. So I'm just gonna go with extra blush. And you can layer powders and creams. There's just a way of doing it. And the way that I do it is that once I go on the palette, I tap it on the back of my hand and make sure that it's very thin layers. As long as you work in very thin layers, you can pretty much always blend creams and powders. As long as the product is not, not a piece of crap that just doesn't work well with anything, you can pretty much always blend creams and powders. I like adding creams first and powders after. Like now my face looks too blushy. This side is just, you can barely see this side. I feel like this side is always a lot more visible. But it might look too blushy, but by the end of the makeup look, you'll see that it's not too blushy. I went a little down with my blush, but it's okay. It will be fine. I know it. Okay, now I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows, and this is my favorite part. I don't, it's not that I like doing my eyebrows, but it's my favorite part because then I feel human again. So I'll get close to you guys so you guys can see how I start with my brows. I always just do like a straight line right here and then little hair strokes up. Up, up, up. There we go. There we go. And then you have the beginning of your brow. Oh, I don't have a spoolie. I'm gonna have to look for a spoolie. Or I'll just use the one from Benefit, which is the brow setter. But I always like to brush my lash, my eyebrows first to see what they're gonna look like when I, um, when I actually fix them, like when I actually like, um, yeah, fix them with like the product. So I don't know what they're gonna look like afterwards, but I hope they look good. Okay, so we're done with one brow and I do the exact same thing on the other side. But here, it's always harder for me to do the little hairs up. Here, like I feel like I'm working with my with the wrong hand on the wrong side. Like it's really weird and hard to explain, but it's just like one side is super easy to do, and the other side always gives me some trouble. And it's this side that always gives me some trouble. I think it's because I have more hair here, and here I have like an area with very little hair, so that doesn't help. But let's see. Okay. They don't look even at all. Mm, okay, okay. I'm not gonna complain. They're not my favorite, but once I set them, they might look better. So let's set them with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, which is my complete favorite. I have two extra of these and I feel like this one's running out. So I'm like, oh, my baby's running out. I need to grab a new one. I freaking adore this thing because you can laminate your brows or you can leave them fluffy. You, you can leave them however you like. It just gives you like, the spoolie is very flexible, but not too flexible that it will just get clunky. It's flexible enough, which I was comparing it to the She Glam one, which has is the same concept, the same spoolie almost, but it's too hard. So you can't like let you can't flex it in a, in a way to like um. I don't know how to explain it, but you can't really flex it in a way to um to really just get the brows the way that you want them to be i made no sense on what i said but i'm applying a little bit of white here and you'll see why because i'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer because i feel like it was a little too much blush and now the bronzer kind of disappeared so i want to add a little bit of bronzer
Whenever you feel like your face is not looking completely even, you can just grab your beauty blender, whatever you're blending with, and just go throughout your whole like area where you're not like super satisfied with, and uh, just blend away, you know, like just blend with a high, like with a concealer that you used and whatever's left over on the, like you don't even need to add more. Like if there's any leftover, you can just use the leftover to, um, to emparejar, even out, even out, emparejar is even out the skin, you know? I'm sorry if I speak Spanglish sometimes. I try not to on my videos. I really try not to. But if you heard myself and my sister, we are like the definition of Spanglish. We speak half Spanish, half English, half everything. And with my boyfriend, who is Mexican, like now he's like, he speaks Spanglish with me too sometimes. Because we spend so much time in, in Miami and like, now he just kind of like got used to, since I talked to him in Spanish, um, he got used, I mean in English, he got used to it and now he like talks to me in English sometimes and it's maybe a little weird for some people, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, the unicorn glow. Let's see how the unicorn glow applies. I hope this is not a huge mistake. Instead of using the one that I already liked, I'm gonna tap it with a beauty blender instead of blending it with a brush. Cause I don't want the bottom pro, oh, oh God, oh God. No, it's good, we're good, we're good. Wait. I don't want it to go too low. So I'm keeping it up here and it is gorgeous. I thought it was gonna dry out, but you guys, this unicorn drops are beautiful. Like, they're like a very subtle highlighter, but now I'm gonna need to add more blush. See, you know, like, that's why makeup artists, like, sometimes tell you like oh no you be, you need to be here like 25 hours earlier if it's your wedding or whatever because you have to go through a lot of steps if you really want to get a perfected face of course you can do your makeup in 10 minutes and look like beautiful but if you're trying to achieve like that kind of like that flawless look you know it's a little bit it takes a little bit more time it's a little bit more time consuming because right now I love how glowy it is, but I'm actually gonna use a little bit of the glow because I want like more glow. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this glowy one. Because I just think it's gonna give it an extra oomph because it's so, so glowy. See, like now you can actually see the glow a lot. And I don't mind going a little bit on the, like on the inside of my cheek, which people say not to do that because it enlarges your pores. But um, I don't have powder, but if you add powder at the end, you'll just get rid of that enlargement of pores and still have a little bit of highlight, or you can add the powder and the highlight on top, you know, so the powder kind of like, um, even so the pores and then you have the highlight on top for my nose I'm definitely using this highlighter let me clean out this thing yeah I'm using this highlighter because um, it's so white that I know it's gonna give me that effect that I want of like as if my nose was straight and well I think most people highlight their noses, right? But if you do it right, like if you highlight your nose right, it can really make a good, uh, it can be a really good thing. If you highlight it the wrong way, it can just like create the opposite effect. I'm gonna apply a little bit of highlighter right here because I love having a little bit of highlighter on my brow bone. 
not like a chunky white highlighter it's just like a little bit on my brow bone and i need to blend something here okay but i think we're all good all blended there's an eyelash here ah okay so i think i am liking every product you guys so now we're gonna go with la piece de resistance I hope I said that right. I am sure the French heard me. They weren't. I, I was I lived in France for a year and my French is horrible. I'm using this mask, the Revolution mask, which is actually really, really nice. I applied it at the beginning of the video. I think it gives you like a little bit of color, even though it's clear. Ah. Uh. But this one is craving coconuts and it's delicious and I hadn't tried it and now I'm gonna keep it in my mask like stack where I can have access to it as like whenever I want because it's really, really good. It feels like I need to look at the ingredients but it feels delicious. So we have a lot of options right here. I think I'm gonna show you guys, like look at my hand. This is how I always look. I, I should get a bottle, I have a bottle, but I should have a bottle of um, makeup remover, like micellar water next to me, so that I can do the swatches for you guys without destroying my hands. But I'll do the swatches like here, okay? So I'm just swatching the shimmery shades because um, I just wanna swatch this, this kind of shades, the ones with like the little specks. I feel like swatching this ones because the other ones might just be like regular mattes and I want to see if the special shades are really special or they're not. So let's go. One, that's nice. Two, that's nice. Three, really nice. Four, really beautiful. Five, you can see it. Let's see. five again well it's a very subtle but i really like the shades this i mean the little white sparks end up disappearing once you play with it but um who cares i don't give a crap about, about the little sparks but i think this is gonna be a good palette if the if the mattes work well the shimmers seem to work well so i'm gonna go with charisma first just to lay it all over my lid because it's kind of like a bronzy shade but not too bronzy that like um, I'm, I'm not creating dimension with this. I'm not doing my crease with this. I'm just applying it all over the eye just so that the rest of the shadows just go on smoothly, you know? Because if your eye is kind of sticky, the rest of the shadows will just go patchy. So for my bottom lid, I'm applying the same one, Charisma, but the thing is I don't have a brush. Oh yeah, I do, Never mind. Um, I'm applying Charisma to the bottom of my eyes. And you'll see the difference of how big the eye looks. And that's what I was telling you that I saw Patrick Tad doing it. And I was like, damn, I've been doing that forever. Look at the difference of this eye and this eye, just with a little, the same brown that I added on the top lid, I'm adding it on the lower lid, it's literally the same brown, the, the same really light shade. It just looks darker on the lower lid, but it just makes your eyes look like three times bigger for some reason. Well, of course there's a reason, like if you add more color, the eye looks bigger and I just wanted, I wish you guys could see that this side looks the same, but it's just like the lighting, the way the lighting hits me. I don't know if it's turning it like this. Let me see. You will see. No, I think it's the same thing. <laughs> okay, we'll keep it going like this, but just so that you guys know, this side obviously looks exactly the same as the other side. Well very similar at least, but 
I feel like even though I have the reflector right here, I feel like it doesn't give me enough light for you guys to see me the way you see this side. But let's get on with the shadows and let's see if we can get a decent look. That charisma shade <clears throat> initially applied very well. So I'm really happy with that. I am satisfied. So now we're gonna go in with infatuation, which this I am gonna use more in the crease. Well, there's a hair. More on the crease to create a little bit of depth. Now I do wanna create depth, but I don't wanna go all the way up. Okay, sorry, I always get away from you guys. Sorry, sorry. So which one was the one I was using? Infatuation, I think. I hope so. So I don't wanna go too, too high because then it loses the illusion of creating a crease and a deeper eye because my eyes are almond shaped and I don't have a lot of crease. Well, some days, this eye decides to have a crease like today and there's days when it doesn't have a crease like it barely has a crease and i love it i get so happy when it's not like i wake up and i'm like yes i have a crease but like when i'm doing my makeup and it is creasing i get really excited because i have more space to work on that eye area that you can see when i open my eye you know I don't know if that's making any sense to you guys, but these shadows are working working perfectly fine. I have no complaints. These are working just like any other good shadow. Now, I don't know how dark I wanna go, but I'm gonna go with Risky, which is like um, a bricky shade, which is completely opposite of the rest of the palette. So I'm going with like a Risky shade because most of the palette is like uh, mauves and pinkies and nudes and this one is a bricky sh a brick kind of like shadow and I don't think it looks bad you guys I always tell you I keep telling you like leave me something in the comments not because I want to be popular and have comments no I want you guys to leave me ideas on what to do for future videos. And it takes you like a few seconds and you'll be seeing a video that you gave an idea for, you know, which I think is kind of exciting because I will respond to every single comment. There's comments that I can't reply. I just reply like, thank you for being here because they're in Arab or different languages that I don't understand. But like, um, if you comment like, hey, you should do a video on this or skincare or, or this or that. Like, I will gladly do it, you guys. Um, I didn't know it was so hard to get comments. Like, I thought as long as soon as people started watching you, you would start to get comments. And comments have been the most difficult thing for me to get, like, because I've been able to get views, but comments are hard to get, to be honest. And I just want comments so that you guys can give me, um, you guys can give me ideas and also just your feedback. If it's something you like, something you don't like, I'm going to add some of the shade Crave, which is a shiny brown, and I'm going to add it to the crease as well. So I am darkening the crease a lot. Okay, perfect. All right, I am liking this. This is cute. 
All the shades are blending perfectly. I'm gonna have to clean up a little bit right there, but I'll do it at the end. And now we're gonna go in with the um hmm chemistry. This chemistry looks nice. Oh, but it's very, very light. I'll use chemistry for other things. Okay, now on to <sighs> so many options. I'm gonna go in with sinner. Sinner is this one. And I'm gonna apply it. Oh, it's purple. I thought it was gonna be like a breaky shade. So I was like, oh, that's gonna match with the breaky shade that I added. But Sinner looks a lot different on the pen than it looks on the eye. But I actually love the way that it looks on the eye. It's like this beautiful, gorgeous lilac color. I love it. I can't complain. I'm actually glad I made this mistake. Or not mistake, just didn't know I was gonna look this way. But you guys, I really encourage you, like, please let me know how I can do a giveaway. I want to do a, either one big giveaway or three smaller giveaways. And by smaller, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, um, how would you say it? Like, I'm a person who likes to give a lot. So smaller, I don't mean like three things. I mean, like quite a few things obviously i can't spend like a huge amount but like i i will like make sure that the the winners of whatever it's called the what is it called what are those things called when you make a competition it's not a competition the giveaway yeah whoever gets the giveaway if it's three people like the three persons are gonna get something that I think are gonna be I would never give you some something that I'm like oh I hate this so I'm just gonna throw it in the box like no I will make sure that I give stuff to them that I love that I, that I would like to receive but I need you guys to tell me how to do a giveaway because I have no idea I mean I guess I could google it yeah I could google it but it would just be nice to receive comments from you guys you know it's um, I kind of want to, not kind of, the whole point of my channel is to form a community of like-minded people who love beauty. I'm going in with Magnetic, which is a lot lighter, I think. It's not that much lighter. Let's see, Fever. Not that much lighter. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Chemistry, which is a lot lighter. Yeah. So... It sounds like I'm like, attacking you guys to like comment on my videos, but I just really, I want to do it not just for myself, just because I, my dream is to create a community of people who are just good, kind hearted people who just want to have fun and not get into the drama and just really want to just create, get creative or just have me in the background and distract yourself with me or try to get into a little bit of makeup and maybe start playing with makeup and like that's like the whole point of my channel it's for us to create a community of people who love beauty and not only beauty like on the outside i know it sounds like a little cheesy and whatever but like beauty on the inside as well because um doing makeup and stuff like that when you do this it's very therapeutic at least for me uh once you learn how to do your own face it's very therapeutic and it helps on the beauty on the inside as well because when you feel like you did a good job or you like the way your makeup looks or sometimes you hate the way your makeup looks and you just laugh at yourself you know and that's it doesn't matter you take it off and that's it it's like something so um harmless if you do makeup and as long as you don't get into like the drama you know like and that's the last thing that i want i don't want to get into the drama and i'm i mean i'm a super small youtuber so i doubt i'll ever get into the drama even if i grow um 
I can almost promise you guys that I won't get into the drama. Like, if they throw shit at me someday, I will not respond. I'll just... It says in Mexico, you say, like, cachetada con guante blanco, and it's like, um, when you hit back with, like, love, and the other person doesn't know what to do with it because they're expecting hate from you, and you, like, hit back with love. So that's what I would do. And, like, that's what I encourage everyone to do whenever people come to me for advice for, like, oh, this person did this to me. I'm like... Always punch back with love. Just like, oh, hope you find your own path and have a great day and whatever. You know, just always responding with love is always, in my opinion, the best way to um, to just stay out of drama. See, even now I need a little bit more blush and now we're done. We just need the eyelashes and I'm happy that I get to use my Kylie Rae mascara which is not from this brand but it's my Kylie Rae mascara which is a tubing mascara and I want to show it to you guys again because I love tubing mascaras I'm not gonna get far away from you guys I love tubing mascaras I wouldn't say this is my favorite I think my favorite is the one from Thrive but this is not a bad one. It's actually pretty good. They sell it at Sephora. I'm sure they have their own website. And my lashes are a little sticky because I, oh God, oh God. I hate it when that happens. They're a little sticky because I applied a mascara yesterday that was impossible to take off, impossible. So there's still like some residue, I think, or something's going on with my lashes that is not being very helpful. But anyways, that's how the lashes look. I think that's like two and a half coats. Okay. Yep. And you guys can make fun of me as well on the comments, you guys. I am not one to get offended easily. So if you guys want to make fun of the words that I say, or, you know, I'm talking about being nice, fun, you know, not like rude, assholey, like fun. No, because that's not fun. I'm talking about like you guys making fun of like whatever I do that's dumb or stupid or that, that I don't delete, you know, and... You guys can make fun of me all you want, and I will not get offended. I actually think laughing at yourself is the best medicine to cure. Sometimes just like when you do something stupid, just laughing at yourself is like the best way to just forget about it and, and like let it go. See, that came off super easily because it's a tubing mascara. So now we, oh. The Shimmer Balm. I have this too, and I have this one, but I'll be using this one for another video. And I think I'm gonna go with the brown one, because this brown one has glitter in it, and it's calling my name. Yes. Because it kind of matches the eye look. I'm gonna apply a lot. I usually don't apply this much um, gloss, but I really wanted you guys to be able to see the color and it's it feels just like the Fenty, uh, Fenty Bomb, Bomb. So if you guys are into the Fenty Gloss Bomb and you don't mind the whole drama with this um, brand, um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good one. Really good one. It leaves the same like, Thick consistency the same color as the heat one that I got anyways so this is the final look you guys obviously always like the camera doesn't help if you don't have good lighting but I think it looks cute I think all the products worked really really well I can't complain um, and you know what 
before that, before we close off, I'm gonna do a little line just at the end of my eye. Look straight, little line. And then look straight, little line. And then voila, you have your little liner. And yes, I am so happy that I did like all this Revolution Pro uh, makeup products because I am keeping this ones. I think they work well. Of course, if I smile, I'll get wrinkles, but I do think the primer for the wrinkle thing was a good one. And I'm just really happy with the results. Um, I think the makeup looks great, to be honest. I think the makeup looks really good. And not because I did it. I just think the products were well. They worked well. And I think it just looks cute. Anyways, so thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Like, you have no idea how much effort I've put into this, like trying to um, watch so many videos to make sure that I buy products that are good and watch reviews and ingredients. And um, I've spent all my money on this. I say it all the time, but it's the truth. Like I'm not buying anything else besides makeup because that's the only, like, I only have money to buy all the makeup that I'm buying because I do full faces of one brand reviews. And for example, yesterday I bought the uh, Clarins full face and it was over $350. And that's just one video. And I have to do that with every brand that I'm doing a full face. So I need you guys to give me ideas that are not just full face of one brand reviews because it's crazy expensive. There's not enough money in the world, literally. Of course in the world, yes, but like, um, for having like 3,000 followers or whatever, like I shouldn't be doing this. It's too much, it's too crazy. It's like, maybe if I had a million followers, I would be able to do this and buy every product to do a full face of a one brand. But right now I'm a very small brand. I already have 60 videos up of one brand reviews or yeah, mostly one brand reviews. And I think I need to like start thinking of doing other things as well that I would love to do that like all the time, you know, but I can't like I can't because then I don't have enough money to do whatever else I want to do, you know, so um, whatever. All that apart, I really appreciate every subscriber, everyone who comments. Please help me out in the comments, you guys. That would be my payment from you guys from the time that I invest. That could be the best payment that you guys give me back for um, investing my time in this. Just take two minutes, three minutes to write a comment. Give me your feedback, good and bad feedback. Feedback is always good um, without insults, of course. But um, just have a great day and I hope I'll see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, take care. That's it. Bye.